Hey there amigos, this is George D and today we are playing Timbleweed Park. Why this random game? Because I think I want to play this game and I think my you amigos will like it because it's a point and click plus it's a story mode game and there are multiple endings and that kind of thing. So it's gonna be a long gameplay but if you do stick around for, for the full let's play amigos then let me know in the comments so I will continue this episodes with your support. So yeah, your support is what I need the most at this for this let's play. And I hope you do support. And also without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to this channel, then subscribe. I don't know, know that's kind of thing, you know, like uh, let's start, right? So I'm just gonna start with a casual mode because I don't wanna play hard mode. I researched it, it's a, it's around like 20 hours of gameplay. And I don't even know how this episode is going to go, like if you amigos will watch it or not. So it totally depends on you, like amigos, if you want to play me the hard mode, we'll play in another walkthrough if that's possible. But for now, it's going to be casual mode, okay? So this is some tutorials. I don't need tutorials. If you need, you know, like I know how to play this game. I mean, I, I tried this game for myself, so I knew I know a little bit about it. And I will be quiet when there's dialogue, okay? Because the, the voice acting is really good. I mean, it's not like bad, but it's intentionally bad. And you know, and that's a really good thing. You know, I like those kind of things. I, I don't know what does that mean. I mean. Maybe five blinks. I don't know how much that blink was. So we are entering finally to the Timbleweed Park. I mean, that's a is that a real name like Timbleweed? I'm gonna just uh, like lower my volume a little bit. Hmm, that's 80, okay. Level 14, pop 80. I don't know what does that mean by the way. Part 1, the meeting. <laughs> okay, got it. Crystal train, okay. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, that's that's her character. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Really, if someone gives you a note and tell you to come under the bridge, don't go there, okay? Just save yourself. I'm supposed to meet down here. Are you seeing anyone? You're a victim of inferior <laughs> Oh God. I have to go. I'm sorry I could not offer you a drink. Turn off the light above the terrestrial trail. So, sign so you have... Uh, so I know you have arrived. And meet me at the large entrance to the sewers. Okay, got it. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must I know, be something I know around here that can pick, help. Just click, pick, pick up the rock. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. It oh, is a, it is a rock. It is a rock. <laughs> it, it is, is a rock. rock. <laughs> I, I love this guy already. It is a rock. It is, it is a, a rock. rock. It, it is, is a uh, rock. I, I can do this all day, but I don't. I don't think I don't have that much time. I'm just gonna use it. Use the rock. I can't over pick there. up okay. something I already have. It is a rock. No. Push. The sign does not move. It is attached firmly in place. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. <laughs> okay. So we are making there. progress. I have completed step three of the note. Now for step four. By the way, this game is very meta. Okay, if you don't know meta, the game is self-aware that it's a game, 
and you are the player that playing the game so there is that and i don't like this place at all to be honest i'm just walking you know like wow really i i don't like this it got my guy killed oh my god none of us were prepared for what we had find that night how much change it at all okay so we are getting introduced to our main characters now i hope so because why not so it's a base on the murder mystery and there you have it our main characters i mean come on speak up that's badass so tell me again why you're here i was assigned to the case by the home office in albuquerque There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's need to know. <laughs> Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Ray is. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> pixelate. The body. See, starting. That I was talking to about. You know, the game pixelate. is self-aware. It says this pixelate. is going to so be a long that. night. So let's talk to her. Do you happen to have any film on you? I do. I come prepared. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Really? Well, I need to get back. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Okay. Okay, I I can switch. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains oh, Give this I love me. carrying stuff. Yep. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Okay, uh hmm. There you go. Smile. Really dude, like you don't see a dead body to smile, okay? That appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell okay. by the pixelation around the pixelation. nose and neck. Come on. <laughs> pixelation. Let's see okay. here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. I mean you get the idea like ga this game is like very self-aware guys, you know. So that's why I'm choosing this game to play and yeah, I'm just going to go and I hope I don't die here. We should go find the sheriff. Okay, got it, man. Hmm, so yeah, there we go. There we have some hints and uh, there's more to this game and I know this because I've seen some gameplay. So, let's go. Okay. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. I'll pick up. Just let's It's a trail out. down to mm -hmm. the railroad trestle. Let's pick this up. Okay. What's going on there? 
Mm-hmm. What is this? It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm. Yes. Pretty good makeup though. <laughs> okay. Let's pick this up as well. Signals are very strong tonight. Why? Like why are you yeah, dressed like exactly. a giant pigeon? Why are you dressed We're like the, the pigeon, pigeon brothers plumbing? I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Yeah, exactly. Why, Why brother brothers your sisters? your sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. What, what signals? signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what yeah. signals? I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Can I, can I Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Okay, 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 okay cut this crap. Uh huh. <laughs> this this is, is really good. odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. Safe. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff. I, 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 I better save the game, okay? So. No, I want to save the game. Nice talking to you too. Save game. Geek. Boop. Boop. Okay, what are they doing? Like. Whack. Was. No time to talk. We need yeah. to figure uh, out the signals. Yeah, seriously. Even I don't want to talk. Okay. You two are nuts. Okay. Two minds like yours should be able to figure it out. Squeak. Was click 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 beep boop was it's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons no need the perps are outside it's a circus flyer with a crazy looking no time to talk we need to figure out the signals i got it okay okay Just... i've got a murder to solve anyway i'm gonna uh Squeak. This, this, this. She doesn't want it. Eek. Beep. She doesn't want it. Beep. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. <laughs> Look, I'm a federal agent. <laughs> I worked hard to become an agent and now no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Click, 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 click. Squeak. This is where to go. They're annoying. Like, really, they're really annoying, by the way. Okay, what is this? Pick up this plastic ring. Okay. okay, they almost did it again. But I was like, okay. They say I can't die in the game, okay. They said that, I don't know. I don't believe it, to be honest. Okay, is that a CCTV footage? I think it is. Okay, got it. Wait up, eager beaver. Eager beaver. I, I don't know this reference, by the way. It says Main Street. Yep, got it, man. Let's look at Willie's this. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich <laughs> or famous. That is that is just a way, you know, just alienating your customer, you know, the one who always wants to like repair something and if you say we just only work for the rich, that's not gonna help, you know. Like really. Better leave it be. What is this? 
It says need help playing thimble with park. <laughs> that's Call clever, the fully yeah. automated Hintron 3000 at that's, that's 4468. Really hmm. Maybe we should call it. It's like you call it and you get the hint from the call. I mean, that's really clever. I mean, I can't push that. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. Howdy. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Federinos that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Correct, sir. We are Federal Correct, agents. sir. We are Federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse, Arenos. No need to get okay. snippy. <laughs> Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna <laughs> get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling is... starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. Me too. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. Like, that doesn't that sound That makes like, no sense. You know, like... Are we authorized to I mean, shoot people, Arenos? I mean, that's some foreshadowing. I don't know, not, not foreshadowing, but I don't trust him, to be honest. No matter the how Arenos he is, uh, I guess... I, I I don't trust him like really. This is the this is I wanted to do. Ah! Oh my god! Howdy who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the future who? Why is he like? Is he the oh, character? these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go again. Okay, 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 We're okay. interested I in any help your computers on. can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Yeah, exactly. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as oh, peas no, of who's okay. in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff mm -hmm. has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Okay, let's tell us about the blood. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Okay, it's not gonna work. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. See, see, see. Insert he a fingerprint that. registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. He did the same. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Gord, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arino. <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. <laughs> you who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. One more what does the Bloodtron 3000 do again? Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, okay, not printing out a report to who. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. These Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. 
Talk it's like we're living in the, the futuristic year of 2017. By the way, this game is based on the time. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, so, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Why did he say that? Like 2017? I don't know. I guess this. I I I have my doubts on sheriff. By the way. Hey guys, uh, my game recording crashed I and I did not know something. about this. Okay, shut up. Okay. So I'm just gonna give you a re real quick recap what Went happened between today. those things. So me, Agent Ray and Agent Reyes went to the, the off. Bunny. He's disturbing. I can't talk in front of him. So I'm just gonna go real quick. Okay. So what happened basically ki, uh, that... Yeah, Agent Reyes uh, decided to go around the town and know more about the people and the towns and we are in the backstory of this clown and apparently I love this clown but this clown is very like self-centric, arrogant and uh, he insults people and that's his job so there you go and he's about to make his big performance and I guess something's about to happen because this is a flash flashback and... Uh, something might have happened so that's why we are here and let's see what happens so yeah there's nothing you more like miss i can't walk in through the but main this guy is like, like very and uh, I'm like, this clown swears a lot so yeah and is that a pixar ball i don't know i mean this looks like a pixar ball to me so yeah let's do this main Hello, entrance faces i'm ransom <laughs> the insult clown I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own <laughs> fault for not being able to take a joke. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go. You guys love that pillow factory. Mm -hmm. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York mm -hmm. has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. I am amazed that you are a bunch of fat. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Why there's a pizza? Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. There's the business manager. I mean... I know a few of this character somehow. And she looks creepy with the one with the glasses. Okay, this Hey is... you, kid with a crappy no, wheelchair. I should not do that. Were you in anyways. a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Oh my god. He's hey, you lying. lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, Toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. That's going very harsh, you know. Hey, you kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. <sighs> hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. My God, these people are crying because of me. I do not like this job. Really. And there's a pigeon. There's a, there's a father of pigeon girls. And yeah, I also met pigeon. I, I guess you guys know about the pigeon. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with a hairy mole! Or is it your Why parasitic twin? Though? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. What's going on? He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. 
But most laugh because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I Probably. killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse brings Something's a hip on happen, the way right? home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. Okay. What okay, the, the curse is working. This makeup isn't coming off. The That's what you get for roasting people. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of swear words. I mean, oh my god. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Okay, I'm feeling bad for him now. I don't know why. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. Okay. Oh my god, that's that's a really like I don't know. I mean, that's a really good way you introduce and to a character. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. I mean, seriously, that's a really good way to introduce to a character. Like, really, the game cuts to you know the downfall like out outright you know the downfall of this ransom character while he was being arrogant and jerk and very rude to other people and he also made jokes of handicapped people old people people with styles and you know and uh, he got cursed for it and now he's like outright it's like seven and six like nine years ago now it's current timeline and he still is not able to take off his makeup and he's still suffering for the action what he did 8 or 9 years ago and that's a really good character introduction and I really love that thing and I'm, I don't know if I get the ransom I'm gonna play it I, I need I to wanna, stay focused like, and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan I, mean, I like the character I, I just want to more explore the character and let's look at this painting now so we are investigating people around for more Hence and uh, so we have to help it's the patient system. Okay, uh, yeah, I know it's a door. We have to. Wait. It's already closed. Where did we go wrong, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> but if we can pull this off, I think we'll be fine again. I love you, Dave. I just want things to go back to how they were. Me too, love muffin. Snuggle cakes. Snuggles cake. <laughs> Aww. That's cute. I don't know. Snuggle case. By the way, how does it like? I don't know what's the taste of a snuggle case. Hey, where are we now? Like, look, let's look at the dumpster. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Let's open it. I can't push that. It's already slightly open. I'm not going to open it anymore. Way too smelly for. There's the things, the list of the things I need to do right now. So, I'm just looking around, you know. Ricky Cakes, okay. Let's go in there. Oh my god. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's oh Cakes, right. but now we sell vacuum right. tubes. I don't have time for your life story. Savage. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. Agent Ray, Savage. I have some way. questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. 
What can I do for you, hun? What do you know of Chunk? Since you don't sell cake, what's your store called now? Okay, I'm looking, I'm for, looking a for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here, over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two letter model identifier? Uh, I guess it's WC67. And what is the make number? Yep. Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Let's talk to her more. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. What, what do, do you think, think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. Mm -hmm. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his tube-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. I think so, no. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. <laughs> Let's do it. YouTube. Let's, yeah. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Okay. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did yeah. you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. Stop calling me, At first, me, I just hun, sold okay. a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose. I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. You're naive to be so trusting. Exactly. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, and they are like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure, but I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. I mean, I don't trust her as well. I mean, okay, I need to get familiar with the buttons, you know. What is this? Oh my god. There are so many names. The other one that in service, the ones that are not in service. Three eight double zero. Okay, fine. Let's call George. Three eight double zero. Hi, we must be away right now, so please leave a message after the beep. Um, hey, how do I stop this? <laughs> yeah, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This game is really clever. I mean, yeah, sure, there's content in it. I mean, you know, hair today, gone tomorrow. Okay. That's, that's kind of good. Is that a Pac Man? That's a Pac Man. Let's uh, look at this. No path. There's, 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 there's no path beyond this point. 
Let's talk to her. Hey amigos, this is me. This episode is like one hour ten minutes long, but I'm gonna split it to half, like two parts now. And also, if you want to see the next part, then please let me know in the comments. I want to know if you are amigos invested in the story. Then only I will continue this gameplay and maybe make this a whole series. But I need to hear it from you, amigos, in the comments. So comment down, and the next part of this episode will be. in 2 days yeah i will be uploading in 2 days later after this video and uh, just let me know in the comments what i what do you think and which character do you like so far i, I mean i like ransom i want to know more about him about like since this time jump i was just just want to know what happened to him you know this far so anyways let me know what what your thoughts are and um, till then play hard my friends play hard